Oh, and today we're going to do something a little different. Um, besides grinding stumps and chainsawing and everything, I do do tinting as a hobby. So basically, I'm going to show you how to do a very simple tint. It's going to be flat glass. So for any of you that want to buy some simple tools off Amazon, this will be a good video to watch. And Amazon or any other store, it doesn't really matter where you get them. But um, this will be a simple video to watch to kind of figure out what you need to do. Um, as far as a first tint, I would only recommend doing flat glass and not perv glass because that is taking it to the next level. Uh, like cars and whatnot are definitely going to be harder to do. Maybe some side windows would be okay. Um, I personally started on cars, but um, today we're going to be doing a piece of flat glass a customer wants done for their computer setup. Um, I actually did their basically the big part of their computer. This is the front glass. So um, Now as far as tools go... important you're gonna need water to put on tint no matter what water and soap so I really like this one this is what I personally use it's uh, chem guys you think you can get this at like Walmart or something um, it's a cheap sprayer it has a filter on the end of it basically you put the soapy water in there and you put the cap on and it's a twist cap once you twist it you can shake it up, you know, get the soap all shaky and pump it a bunch of times. And then it's just basically a little spray. So you don't have to sit there and spray with the bottle. I'm not going to be using that today, though. I'm going to be using a spray bottle. If you do use a spray bottle, I'll go with the Zep. Uh, it's a good bottle. And it's just nice because they don't break. They do have a small filter on the bottom. And, yeah, that's what I'm going to be using today. Just because I don't need a lot of water for this job, it's only going to take 20 minutes so and then for soap you can use pretty much anything um, I would recommend Johnson's baby shampoo it doesn't have all the added chemicals so it works really well it smells good um, also Dawn can work as well Put some Dawn in there as well uh, next you're gonna want some type of straight edge I use a clear ruler this works really really well and it's nice for if you can't quite finish a line um, on the glass you can cut right along this. And then also you're going to want to check if the glass you're tinting is hardened or um, safety glass because if it is, you can cut on it as long as you're using the right type of blade. And then you're going to want a flat razor, just like so. This is going to be for cleaning the glass. And then any type of heat gun, um, you can really buy any of them, honestly, a cheap one. I bought this one, it wasn't a ton. I want to say it was like $30 on, online. <clears throat> You could probably get away without a heat gun on flat glass. Um, typically, if you squeegee it really well, you don't need a heat gun. The heat gun is more for finishing. It kind of dries up the edges, make sure you get a good application. So, And then next, towels. Everyone thinks, oh, your standard lint towel or your microfiber is going to be enough. No, do not use a microfiber towel. They are garbage for tinting, to be honest. You want a lint-free microfiber, okay? So lint-free is very important um, because you're not going to get all the lint and you don't want the lint underneath the tint because then it is a defect in the tint. So that's very important. Next, I use a tool belt, obviously not necessary. But once you start tinting some stuff, you're definitely going to want it. Um, let's start with cleaning. So first step is cleaning glass. What I like to use is a non-abrasive white scrub pad. And I just got bought a bigger one. I cut these down. Uh, this is nice. You can basically scrub it, scrub it, scrub it good. I do that after I razor blade the glass. Uh, yeah, it works well. Um, next, you're going to need a squeegee of some type. I just use this flat out. Um, I actually do not like this one. It's just not the best. The sides don't really stay flat. Okay, it's kind of rounded like that. So I would recommend something else, but this is what I got for now. <laughs> I would recommend a hard card though. These are badass. They're really nice. Um, something in this shape with a little corner on it. I also have this one a little sharper, a little thinner. It's nice to have a couple. This one's thicker and firm. This one's small and thin. One thing you'll see here, this is non-stick tape or um, I think that's what they call it. 
basically it's really smooth tape uh, it's a special type you can find on tin shops but would recommend that once you get better at it because it basically doesn't scratch your tint when you're pressing on it hard another method would be to use a cloth and use the cloth to squeegee it out so and then this tool is more for vehicles but it's basically like a little knife tool nice for getting in small areas and then I use this hard card once in a while, not too often. Basically the same as the other ones. Now next is going to be the knife. Uh, there's probably a lot of debate on this stuff, but this is the best one they sell. This is the Red Dot. Recommend getting one with stainless steel blades. You have to go stainless steel. They're the best blades. Um, and always, always make sure you have a sharp edge. When you start, start a new tip, always break off the next piece. Don't, don't mess around with the dull blade. It's so important to have a sharp blade for good cuts. Alrighty, and today we're going to be using Nanocarbon Pure Max. It is a form of Lex and Professional Window Film, so this is an automotive carbon fiber film. Um, this is a 36 by 100 foot. Um, one other thing is I am using a basically like a card table or like a a white picnic table and I just put a white cloth over top you can get white cloths online lint free preferably and then I filled this bottle up I'm only gonna need about half of this if that and to get enough soap it's kind of a guessing game but this little bottle I'll probably put like five to six squirts in and that should be enough you'll know when you first put film on if it doesn't slide with very easy with water on it you need more no doubt about it um, you can always get it to stay by doing more squeegeeing you can't really add too much soap in a way I mean you can but shake that up a little bit alrighty I'm gonna put you back down and let's get started before you start wash your hands um, make sure you don't have any any particles on your hands that's gonna be important this was packaged nicely for me, which is much appreciated because that way the glass doesn't break. Well, first things first, um, this one, I'm probably not even going to raise her unless there's any, any marks on there. So I normally like to get it wet. And then use the white scrub pad, scrub it down really good. Um, this is also a time when you're going to be able to tell if you have enough soap in your water. It's going to really foam up when you do use the white pad on it. So you can see it's starting to foam up a little bit. Um, one important thing, cleaning is basically tells you how your, good your film is going to be. The more you clean, the better clean job you do, the better tint job you're going to do. So make sure you really, really, really do a good job cleaning. And do it two or three times to make sure you get all the grease off of it and grime and sand and what else is on there. <clears throat> uh, one thing I like to do when I'm cleaning the glass after I do the white thing is I use a squeegee. Squeegees are very nice to just clean everything with. And I always wipe after I make a sweep because if you get a piece of dirt in there, it's just going to go right onto your next one. So you want to get all that off by squeegeeing it all off. I did put a different squeegee on here quick because I didn't like the yellow one, so I'll just get rid of it. Now, I need to cut film. So, this is normally probably the hardest part, honestly. Um, Got to make sure you get enough. Always cut extra. So today I don't have any factory edges, which sucks. You definitely got to be a little more skilled than all the factory edges because those are obviously perfectly straight. But 
that's all good. We'll make these straight as we can. Um, one other thing with tint, you're always going to put it on the inside of the glass, never ever on the outside. Okay. So already I can kind of tell there's not enough soap in there, so I'm just going to drop a couple more in there. Did three more squirts. Shake that up a little bit and give it a couple sprays to get the water out. Now it's sliding. That's good. That's exactly what we want. Okay, now once you have the water holding the film, also spray water on your side and then squeegee out the water that's holding the film. Um, this is going to be important to get a good cut. You don't want any water on that back side. You want the film flat. Okay. Now it kind of comes, one of the harder parts is cutting the film. This is where you're going to, as a beginner, ruin a ton of film, but that is okay. Be, expect that. Always buy two to three times more at first until you get good at it. So what I do is I take this knife and I go until the blade clicks out just a hair, just like that. See that against my face maybe. Um, that's going to be important because you don't need any more of the knife out than that. Definitely when you're cutting on glass. So we'll put it back in one. We'll stick it out, make our cut. Boom, cut's made. <clears throat> and that's actually big enough. If I fuck up, I can do it again. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the glass actually on the edge because I want to be able to... Now when you're doing an edge cut, I put the knife all the way out so I get a really sharp edge. <laughs> so basically, I'm going to take this knife, put it all the way out. I'm going to press really hard against the glass, actually not really hard, but firmly, and cut right along that glass and that knife is going to ride right along the edge all the way down. <clears throat> I'll try to set this up so you can see. Okay, it went good all the way until the end there. Let me show you what happened. So you'll see right there, kind of came back. I'll show you why that's important. We're going to use the straight edge, and we're going to get that all nice and flat. So now obviously I have to do that side. You always want to leave a little overlap, because what happens if you don't is the film will get dirt under it and rise up. So I am going to, I'm going to have to re-stick the tint and then do that next cut. <clears throat> so now I'm just going to lift this up like so, give it a squirt on both sides, and now since I have plenty of soap in there, wow, it moves nice. Okay, now we're going to cut this side, <clears throat> make sure that water is really squeegeed out of there. All the way down. <clears throat> OK, 
Hey, that was a really good cut. Set that there. Typically you'd have a glass board and you could set it so if it stays clean, but I don't have one down here yet. So now we're gonna clean the glass one more time before we stick it in. Now a little trick when you're taking the film, the clear stuff off, you'll want to spray it with water instantly so it doesn't cling all over the place or you'll have a mess. If you can't find the clear like I'm having trouble with, you can just use your teeth. It works really well. Okay. All right, we're in business now. So right there, I got the clear halfway down. Spray with water, spray with water, spray with water. This one, I'll take the clear all the way off. I don't need to do anything fancy. It's such a small job. Spray the glass one more time. Make sure you got plenty of water. And this part, you can never ever use too much water. Stick the film on. Line it up right where you want it. And you'll want to do like a squeegee through the center typically. Yeah, spray both sides again. Almost forgot. It's been a while. So the first time if you squeegee through the center, it's going to kind of move around on you and walk around on you. Squeegee it kind of light so you can still move it. And then start moving it into position again. Lightly squeegee, so you're kind of tacking it down. Make sure it's right where you want it. Okay, just got one little imperfection here I'm going to fix, and that'll be it. That, that line's good. That line's good. Alrighty. Show you what we got going on. Right there. Okay. See how nice and close that is all the way up? Yeah, you can see here. If I can get this zoomed in. Right there. Okay. See how nice and close that is all the way up? There you can see a little, little bit, but it's actually... So close to the real eye, naked eye, you won't even notice it. And here's the other side. There, 35%. Like I said, I'm gonna get a little shot of heat. Um, never give it too much heat, especially on the tint side. I'm on the tint side right now, so I'm just gonna kinda get in the cracks and corners there, dry up the water, keep going back and forth. I want to be a couple inches away for sure and just keep moving, keep moving. <laughs> yeah, it's looking good. That's it. I don't really know what comes next. I'm just doing my best, even though I'm so stressed out. Everything just feels like a test that I fail so depressed.
impressed